Hello everyone, I'm back again with the lesson number 10, or Kenslusund nummer 10, in the course Lærum Íslensku, or Let's Learn Icelandic. We are now almost at the end of the Icelandic alphabet, we only have a few more letters to cover, and today I'm going to talk about the letters F and V. Out of these two, V is uh, quite simple, I would say. I would say overall V is a quite simple letter, but F is a little bit difficult. So let's just start. Samhjöðar, let's go. The letter V, or Vaf, like we call it in Icelandic, is, I would say, fairly easy. First of all, it's always pronounced the same, always this natural V sound that is the same as in English and in most other languages and the double V does not exist so overall I think it's super super easy there are many words that start with V it feels like there's a lot of verbs that start with the letter V an example is the verb of vera of vera and uh, this means to be and there's another very common one that is of Vilja, of vilja, uh, which means to want. Uh, when we are talking about V in the middle of the words, like really, really in the middle, like in between two vowels, let's say, then V is not super common. There is one word that is quite useful, that is the word Ivy, Ivy, which means a lifetime. But normally in between two vowels we don't have so many words where we have V in this manner. However, it's super common to have V as the second letter of the word. Usually in the combination SV, KV and HV. One example of a word that starts with SV is the word Svona. Svona. And Svona is a word that means uh, like this or in this manner like ah, oh, do you want your sandwich like this then you would say do you like your sandwich Svona Svona so very useful word a word that has a kv is for example the word kveðja kveðja which means a greeting and then finally we are on to the HV and here comes the trick and actually it's not really a trick with a V but it's more like a trick with the H so I should have talked about it when I talked about the H but I simply forgot so I'm just sneaking it in here but when you have the HV combination the H will sound like a K always 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 so it's not so hard but it's just something that you have to remember and uh, the HV combination is quite common, especially like all of our, or most of our like question words, like where, what, who, these kinds of words, they are usually spelled with HV in Icelandic. Uh, and an example of this is kvath, uh, kvath, and this means what. And you can really say that there's no difference in pronunciation uh, if you put a K or if you put an H in front of the V, it's exactly the same. There is no difference. It's exactly the same. So we would say Kvath. Kvath. So just remember there's a rule and I think that's the all, all the complication that is with the V. V always sounds the same. It's very common in the beginning of the word or as the second letter, especially in the SV, KV, HV combination. HV is always pronounced as KV and there's no such thing as a double V. I think that's all. Now you know how to pronounce the Icelandic V. But now we're on to the letter F. So the letter F is honestly a bit of a bastard of a letter. It's a... It's, it's, it doesn't really make much sense and it's, uh, it has basically three pronunciation. So you can pron pronounce it as an F, you can pronounce it as a V, or you can pronounce it as a B. So why this is, I don't really know. It's just uh, probably, I don't know. I don't know why this is, but it probably has to do with the way that is, uh, how to make things more easy to 
to pronounce, but overall it's a bit of a bastard of a letter. It can be like many different sounds and it doesn't really make much sense. But the, the rules are fairly straightforward, so it's, it's usually, I mean, the, the rules are followed pretty strictly. So if you remember the rules, then you will know how to pronounce the, these things. So let's start, let's start with the double F, because the double F exists in Icelandic, but it's actually quite rare and it's surprising to Icelanders that it is rare, because it feels very natural, but when you start searching your minds for words with double F, they're not so common, but there are a few and some of them are important. One of them is the word uh, waffla, uh, waffla, and this means a waffle, so waffla. And here the L is completely normal, like the English L, it's very, very normal, so it's just a waffle. Then if you have F at the beginning of a word or at the end of the word, then the F is normal. Then you have the normal F sound that you hear in English and in most other languages. So the F. F sound is normal at the beginning of words and at the end of words. So an example where a word ends with F is for example the word half, half, and this means like an ocean. Half, like for example the Atlantic Ocean, is called uh, Atlant's half, so Atlant's half. So if the F is at the end, it's completely normal. Uh, if the F is at the beginning, it's also normal. An example of a word is, for example, the verb of fara, of fara. And as you can see, the F is very normal. There's nothing strange about it and everything is okay. However, when you have F in the middle of a word, especially if it's in between two uh, vowels or if there's a vowel close by then it's usually pronounced more like a V okay so then it's uh, an example of this is for example the word ulvur, ulvur which means a wolf but we don't really say ulvur we say ulvur so we do the voiced V sound not the breathy sound but we'd say ulvur ulvur and another word is the word alvur alvur when we're talking which means an elf so when we're talking normally we usually pronounce it more like a v than actually an f so it's ulvur or alvur however these two words in another case is uh, like another gra grammatical form is where the ur is dropped and then you have uh, in, in uh, the accusative you have alf and ulf and here the f is at the end and then you pronounce it again like it's an all f so it's really only when you have it sort of in the in so, so, so it's sort of sort of stacked in between then it's more like a v ulver alver and also also the word Ave. So Ave, Ulver, Alver. Then you have this sort of more a V sound. However, if you pronounce it uh, with an more like an F sound, it's not the end of the word. I think people will understand you know, if you say Alver, Ulver. Yeah, people will uh, people will understand you, and some people say it with slightly slightly more breathier V sound. It depends a little bit on the Icelanders, but the standard is that we just pronounce it as a V. I mean, let's face it, it's just as a V. But if you don't, but I would say this is a nuance. So if you don't get it exactly, and if you say more like an F instead, it's not really the end of the world. And right now you're not really at the level where you're worried, worrying, worrying very deeply about the spelling. Oh, is this spelled with an F or if, with a V? I don't think this, you're there yet quite. So, you, so this is not something that you should worry very deeply about. Just uh, realize that this exists and then you can sort of decide if it's easy for you to do it right away, then just do it right away. Or if it's not, then just pronounce it with a little bit more F. It's not, it's not so serious. However, 
here comes an issue where you have to pronounce the F differently, I think. And this is when the F is in front of, uh, maybe you guessed it already, an N or an L. Because yes, the N and the L are uh, tough letters in Icelandic. Let's just start with an F in front of an L. If an F is in front of an L, it sounds like a B. And not only it sounds like a B, but it almost sounds like a double B. Okay, so I will give you some examples so you can understand what I'm talking about. Uh, one example is the word tabla. Tabla. You can see what I'm saying is completely B. I mean, there's nothing that sounds like an F. It's a complete B. Tabla. But if you look at how it's spelled, it's actually with an F and then an L. And then it's tabla. And I think this is for uh, for all cases where you have F and then an L. Uh, if the L is at the end, like it, then the L also starts to become a little bit weird. For example, in the word tabla, the L is completely normal. It's the international L, like if you would say light or whatever. It's tabla. It's the normal traditional L. But if you end with an L, then it sounds more like uh, skapl, skapl. Then you get the soft L out of the side of your mouth, if the L comes at the end. Skapl. So skapl means like a... I don't know if there's an English word for this. It's like a big mound of snow. So, if you, so skapl basically means a pile of snow. Okay. Then if we have the F in front of an N, uh, this happens also. Then the F sounds like a B. Not only a B, it's almost like a double B. So an example of a word of hapna, of hapna, and this means uh, to reject. So if you reject something, then we use the word of hapna. And as you can see, there's no F sound. It's just a B, hapna. And, and here the N is sort of hapna, it's sort of at the limit of being an N, normal N and being a weird N. But when we have the N at the end, then you get this nose N again. So for example, a very common word is the word hup, hup. So this means like a harper, and then it's written hufn. So if you would read it without knowing any pronunciation, you would say hufn. But, but actually the F turns into a double B and the N turns into this nose and so the actual pronunciation is HUP HUP Okay So I don't think that was too tough I think it's uh, not So basically in the beginning and the end and in the double F then the F is normal when the F is at the middle of the word, especially when it's surrounded by vowels, it will sound more like a V than an F. And then finally, if the F is in front of an N, or if it's in front of an L, it will sound like a B, and almost like a double B. Here are 10 words in Icelandic that you might have never heard before. I'm just going to ask you to try and see if you can pronounce them based on the rules that we discussed here in this lesson. Press the pause button and take all the time that you need to practice. Now I'm going to assume that you already did that and I'm going to help you along and also give you a meaning to these mysterious words. The first word is Viti, viti, and this means a lighthouse. And here the V is completely normal, viti. Then we have another word, sviti, sviti, which means sweat. Then we have the word uh, firir. Fyrir, which means for, and here the F is at the beginning of the word, so the F is very normal, fyrir. The next word is slightly more difficult, and this is the word apl, apl, and here because the F 
is before an L, it sounds like a B. And also, since the L is at the end, it sounds this, this like the soft L at the side of your mouth. So the word is apl, apl, and this means uh, force. The next word is savi, savi, and this means juice, like an orange juice or uh, strawberry juice, or whatever you like, savi. And, live, and because the F is in the middle, it sounds more like a V than it does an F. Savi. The next uh, word is a verb. Ath skaffa. Ath skaffa. And here we have a double F, which has a normal F sound. Ath skaffa. And this means to provide, in the sense of money, like to provide money for something. The next uh, word has the famous HV combination, and then we pronounce it as kvar, kvar, and this means where, like where is something, kvar. Next is a verb, of Sapna, ath, sapna, and because the F is in front of an M, it sounds like a B, ath, sapna, and this means to collect. The next word is related, and this is the word sap, sap. And if you go to Iceland, it's likely that you will visit some of this, because this means a museum. Sap. And because the F is in front of an N, it will sound like a B. And because the N is at the end, it will sound like this strange Icelandic nose and Sap. Sap. And then the final word of uh, this list is uh, the verb af tepla af tepla here uh, the f is in front of an l so it sounds like a b but because the l is not at the end the l sounds pretty normal and you have the verb af tepla af tepla and this means to play chess Now we're going to go over the words with V that we discussed in this lesson. Like always, I recommend that you press pause and try to pronounce these on your own, and then I will help you along. So now we're going to go through these six words. Uh, first of all, the verb af vera, af vera, which means to be. Af vilja, af vilja, which means to want. Aivi, aivi, which means a lifetime. Svona, svona, uh, which means like this. Kveðja. Kveðja, which means uh, a greeting. Kvað, kvað, which means what. For the last exercise of today, let's go over the words uh, with F that we covered. Uh, press the pause button, try to pronounce them, and just check if you remember the meaning of any of them. Now I'm going to assume that you did this, and I'm going to go over the answers. First of all, waffle. Waffle means a waffle. Half. Half means an ocean. Atlant's half. Atlant's half means Atlantic Ocean. Af fara. Af 
Hara means to go. Ulver. Ulver means a wolf. Alver. Alver means an elf. Avi. Avi means grandpa. So now we're on to the last uh, column and these are the pronunciations where F sounds like a B. First of all we have tabla, tabla, which means a table. Actually it can be mean many other things but let's just focus on the meaning table for now. Then there is skapl, skapl, which means a pile of snow. The verb of hapna, of hapna, which means to reject. And then finally, hep, hep, which means a harbor. Thank you very much. Uh, bye bye.